ever. We thank God for his mighty word. Hallelujah. We thank God for those viewing all over. Thank God for all these leaders from all different parts of the world. In this move of God, we thank God for your faithfulness to be here virtually every night for nearly a year on behalf of the body of Christ. Sometimes I'm knocked up, but I say, hey, these folks are too faithful. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Glory to God because of the faithfulness. Almost every, every night. It's for a purpose. And the man of God said, finish the work. And I got a little news for the body of Christ. Because this word was sent to introduce this news. Hallelujah. 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 Get ready for this. Get ready for this. Get ready for this. Get ready for this. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This work will be finished. Get this down. By God sent successors. It's already online. Because God spoke in the past 24 hours. I said, you cannot misunderstand how this thing will happen. Or you can miss your way. You got to know how it's going to work. And the man of God began. And when the man of God began, I showed the bishop the notes. It's typed up. This is typed. This work will be finished by God sent successors. Because the great men, and this is where you just have to humble yourself and just speak because we don't like to speak against great men. I, I, I hate it. I, I, you know, I try to be very careful with my words concerning great men, men of God, pastors, bishops. The great men just towards the end. How many of us believe that we are, we are close to the end? How many of us believe that we are close to the promised land? How many of us believe that the rapture can come any time? And I hear God saying, the great men who he has raised up just towards the end. As the enemy came with the greatest attack upon the body of Christ since Christ. The great and mighty men. Many of the great and mighty men could not handle it. They stumbled. I'm careful using my words. They fell. They struggled. And now, the condition now is not the best. It's not good. And I hear God said, The body of Christ, the moves of God, the revival. <laughs> now we'll need God send successors. Some who have stumbled and fell will arise again. But many won't. But many won't. Many won't. Because for, for, for us to arise again, we have to see ourselves. We have to see that we went wrong. We can't be defending ourselves. Come on. We can't be looking for company to strengthen the wrong we did. Come on. Wow. Are you there? Hallelujah. We can't be seeking for shelter of the thorn that is now in our flesh because a thorn that is sheltered and bandaged will cause the skin to rot Come on. or the flesh to rot. Yes. Are you there? Some oh, will repent and turn and walk away. But God said many won't. Many won't. They have gotten too big. They have gotten too well known. Mm, they have gotten too influential. Mm, mm. So God says, 
it will be finished. You better listen. You better listen. Because some of us men think we're so great. Oh, we have to still be there. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be leading this mighty move. Come on, somebody. And then going to arise like Samson and feel nothing. Come on, come on. I'm going to tell you what the Lord said. They, they will arise, but they will be powerless. They will be oppressed. Mm, they will be misguided. And they will be replaced. I'm, 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 I'm just speaking carefully and respectfully. But God says this move, this revival, this end time revival, God said, remember that all that left from, from Egypt did not go into Canaan. Only two. Joshua and Caleb. A young man and an elder man. Somebody say, God is good. That means some of the elders are going to repent. And some are going to hold the line. And say, we ain't going to bow because we got some Caleb elders. But more importantly, we have got some Joshua's. Hallelujah. That's why God raised up the Joshua factor fire line. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Most churches and movements are today under unprecedented attack. Much is at stake, especially in global movements. Well-known visionary and visionaries and founders are overrun in the face of the rise of the beast. More than ever before, the careful choice of a God-sent successor. Someone said God sent successor. Someone said God sent successor. Uh, is crucial to save and reinvigorate many of these movements. David needed Solomon. There were some folks in David's camp, but David could not manage them. Come on, come on. So David just kept on doing the Lord's work. Yes. But there came a time when he handed over to Solomon. Yes. And then he told Solomon, oh. I'm going to tell you who was giving me trouble. Uh. I'm going to tell you who I couldn't handle. I'm going to tell you that I just kept on even it caused me to cry. I just kept my face and didn't cry. Oh, they hindered the work. They dragged down the work. They stayed behind the scene and I left them alone. And they thought because I left them alone that what they did was okay. Some thought they were powerful. Some thought they were having influence on the members. Some thought they were doing this. And David said, I couldn't handle it. I just have to keep walking towards the world of Bible city. I just got to keep going. But now Solomon, oh man, the God sent successor because remember others try to get it over Solomon holy ghost holy ghost he said now Solomon amen the successor those I couldn't handle deal with them some folks who think they get away from the work of a visionary I use that word for their stuff and, and damage and weaken and influence and, um, and put in bondage and, uh, and come on somebody I break every strong wall that they have caused upon the sheep and cause the sheep uh, to be sweet, subservient to them and to be submissive to them and Moses have to keep going my God God Holy Ghost is raising up. Somebody to finish the work. Somebody to finish the work. God sent successor to what? To what? To finish the work. Oh, you're not listening, church. Some folks in they get away from stuff because, you know, a visionary don't say nothing about it. My I hear the Lord says, what's happening now in the world right now is high stake happenings. 
high stake. High stake. That's why anything you're doing can be low stake. Come on, somebody. That's why young people can marry and shake up the camp. Shake up tradition. Rock up. You, you think it's them, them alone can shake us up? They can shake us up, mandate, kick out a job, no livelihood. No Christian from across the world can cross the border. Come on, somebody. One billion Christians can't cross the border. And they're showing off themselves and say the mandate work. Come on, but what about us? We're going to do things, going to shake them. They're waiting for 40 year old to marry. Norms. Come on, somebody. But soldier always young. Come on, somebody here. And when grandpa can't stand, he put in fist, but he had not a strong. They're coming some jail. Oh my God. I'm a... Sit down, let me read off. David needed Solomon. Elijah needed Jehu. As Jezebel slash Belial intimidated Elijah intimidated the mighty, the mighty man of God but then God anointed come on somebody God's not a little boy <laughs> come on the always we're going to have official ordination come on somebody glory to God if you think he's just in church folks going to get ordained we're going to send a message and say you're ordained you're not ready somebody wrote us and send a letter and say you're ordained send an email you better pack up your books because i'm just getting started come on somebody we're gonna send an email and say don't set the lord you're a pastor you're an evangelist you're a missionary we don't have time to meet you in church for them to kill you off come on somebody for you're a god send Successor Jehu will take care of Jezebel and Belia. And Moses needed Joshua. Am I right? Paul needed Timothy. As they see God earnest. Great men. Here are a few basic requirements. Veteran leaders need to expect. Of supposed God sent successors. Somebody say God sent successors. Watch this now. They must be able to identify operation of the beast in the church. Can't just preach up a storm in charge of the sheep and can't identify operation of the beast. They must be able to identify other strong men such as Jezebel. Somebody could look in the little library in there. There's a book there about Jezebel. So if you can find it, I know normally right now. My God, my God, my God. They are able to identify other strong men such as Jezebel, Belial, betrayal, etc. Yes, to be God sent successes. Glory to God. Glory to God. Don't enjoy the book. Bring it quickly, please. <laughs> Listen to me, pastors. Listen to me, pastors. Read this book. A lot of your hard work can go down. Because there are some underground, underhand things happening in the church. By a woman called a book like no read it there are books out there but you gotta get this one that's a recommendation and it will give you the secrets of what's going on the one who hug you and you don't know why they hug you 
Come on. The one who will promote you, and you don't know why they promote you. My God of mercy here. Because it is this. And the God sent successors must be able to discern them. You respond so quiet, so I know you didn't read it yet. So please get it. Glory to God. Glory to God. These God sent successors have to have authority over strong men. Glory to God. I must read them off. They must have authority over territorial strong men. Now let me have. Who? They must be uncontaminated by strong men. Mm. You can't have strong men take over your house and you don't know. Taking over your community and you don't know. Glory to God. You think it's something else and don't realize it's strong men. I'm talking about demons right now. Glory to God. Soon we finish. Hmm. Somebody say God sent successors. They must have spine to expel strong men. There must be no respecter of persons. They must have a personal revelation of the vision. You must ask God to show you what the visionary saw. They must, they must be a vanguard of the vision. They must have conviction of the magnitude of the vision and mission. They must have conviction of the magnitude of the mission. They must have aptitude with the magnitude of the vision and the mission. Have you get those different words? They must have unquestionable uprightness, proven loyalty, anointed with the gifts of the spirit. They must be apt to teach. Proven consecration. Authority over their household. Proven frugality. That means they know how to manage money. Are you there? And they must be efficient. Excellence. And they must move quickly. Stand up everybody. Hallelujah. God sends successors. It's online. It's not finished. I could give you many scriptures now, but we don't want to take up more time. Glory to God. God sends us. This is, this is what I'm going to take to finish it. Bishop, we have to get them. We have to anoint them. We have to send them. Some, some leaders have to change who they have to be their successor. They have to change it. Because when you made it, this never happened yet. Come on, somebody. When, when you made that plan and, and put it in that bank uh, vault, huh? Of who gonna be the successor? Come on, the V nation didn't come yet. Come on, come on. Are you there, somebody? Glory to God. And then you see in V nation come that mighty successor who you have written down. You see them wobbling. Come on. Come on, somebody. You see them defending. Come on, somebody. Those who stumbled with come on, somebody with V nation. You see them, you say you have to go back to that vault and take out that resolution and do it over. You have to change the name. Come on somebody, because God's same successor must have authority over the beast. And that's what will finish it. Ask God, who is that person? Who is that person behind the mountain? Who is Jesse, most unpopular son? You can't afford to send somebody who preach good, but they wobble under the beast. Or they tremble when some big person show up, you know, who have influence. And who have this and that, they tremble, but they preach good. No, 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 no. You got to choose that person, unknown. Maybe can not preach good. But they cannot be compromised. Come on. Come on, somebody. They will not be influenced. Come on, they will not defend. Come on, somebody. They break down. This is serious. 
So he God gave the word. He's his successors. I have to look back. I myself have to look back. I have to look back all over. I said, no, God sent successor. But when I'm gone, when Come I'm on. gone. Come on. The other day I came, came on a major attack. It's about a year and a half. And the things that happened since that time. I said, my God, what if I was gone? The time it looked like it looked like I'm going to have to go. I gave up so much, so many reins. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Then I look back at what just happened. My and the kind of wobbling I see, the kind of folks that you think would stand, the kind of people who say you can live because they will hold. When you look, you see the trembling, you see the explanation. You see the compromise. You see the appeasement. My God, I say, God, thank you, Lord, for healing me. Yes. Not because I'm anybody, but I'm telling you, I thank God. God it would be so bad. Bad. Yes. Come on. Know that I have the strength. Glory to God. I will not be, a, be mistaken in God's same successor. Amen. And remember, God's same successor is not one person anymore. Come on. All who line up themselves will be all right. Because some of you, well, you're not going to like me right now. Some of you are going to start your own church, buddy. Oh, I know you don't want to hear. You, you want me to? You want, you want me to, 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 to hug you up and say, "Oh, let's let's get out together." No, 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 no. Somebody, shut up, baba. When the God successor anointing come upon you, you're gonna come to your bishop and say, "Bishop, I love it, but but but, but God sent me to Alaska." Come on, Bishop. <laughs> Nobody want to say amen. Or... Amen. <laughs> and we're gonna bless you and anoint you. And we're not going to be worried that we're going to miss you. We're going to miss you. But you have to carry that task. You have to carry it. With the anointing. You have to be a bishop. You have to be an archbishop. You have to be a presenter. You have to be a head. I have to go with that. But don't worry. We are with you. We are behind you. Because you're a God. Send successor. This man of God will be off to, 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 to Georgia. Shortly, Amen. glory to God to take up a mighty work. But my wife and myself were talking while you dear listen to God. And if God said this is not it, talk up, my God, my God, so we can look back at it again and ensure that you are in God perfect will. Amen. Say amen somebody. These successors will not be doing just what somebody wants. They're going to do what God. Yes. We're not going to be worried. No, I'm telling you. Glory to God. What's the sermon again? Finish the work. All right. I'm going to tell you something nice. And then I'm going to pray for torture of you. In my hand right now. Don't put the camera on it. Close. Put it far from the camera. In my hand is the approval letter from the bank. <laughs> I'm not unrighteous. Now, how uh, to forget that? How could I have this ear at the time when he preached? Finish the work. Come on, somebody. You're, you're, you're not impressed with God. You're not impressed with God. How could he have? 
how, how could he be preaching tonight with a half already typed up God sent success and how, how, how could it be so perfect and in my hand come on somebody you see, this is online from 24 hours ago come on somebody and that letter came this evening Because the work will be finished. Let's yeah. give God praise, church. Give God, give Him praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Now that's the bank, but we still believe in God, and we're going to do it out the bank. Amen. Say Amen. Come on, shout say Amen. amen. Shout say amen. amen. We have it now. That nobody can take it away anymore. Come on, somebody, but we're going higher. Come on. Are we going higher? Come on, Come on somebody here. Yeah. Glory to God. Higher level. I got, but we got it. 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 In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Anybody need a little prayer? Come right now. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do it different. Anybody ready to be God sent successes? You can be a Caleb like or you can be a Joshua like. Come right now. Because I'm telling you, this is what's going to happen right now. I'm telling you. You see, you don't make sense to go around and try to be a Moses forever. Amen. Come on, somebody. It's not going to work, Bishop. <laughs> I thank God for clarity. Glory to God. I thank God for clarity. You're not a Moses forever. Even though Moses don't mess up, you're not a Moses forever. He's successors. He's successors. But you have to be careful about the successors. They don't come and tear up all. Come on. All that you do. Because they never see V Nation before. They were, they were trying to be good, but they were not ready for V Nation. Come on. They were not ready for stuff that never happened before. They were only ready for stuff that they are used to. Yes. So when V Nation came, the great one who was standing up on the pulpit up and preaching and shouting, mm -hmm. they can't handle it. Come on. But thank God for Jesus. God says, Look back at the successes, it will work. Amen. You don't know. You don't even know how happy I am. You're there looking at me now, man. Glory to God. Because every leader wants to know that this thing gonna be done. Yes. Go to the oh, end. Even if God gonna take him tomorrow, yes. he wants to leave it the peace oh, that it is left in God. Send successor. No devil move them. No king move them. No mighty man move them. No elder move them. No older prophet move them. No younger prophet. Yes. Because they are God sent. So we will toil with God till God show them up. Show them up. They're going to come and do what uh, the founder and the visionary can do. Thank you, Lord. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Give me some oil. Give me some oil. Please. I mean, I'm going to be long with you. I'm just going to touch you. Listen. You're going to want to open your own church. People never hear this in their life. They're supposed to be a, a big man with a shawl go down. And a collar over here. And look deep. And stuff come out of his ears. To be the successor. No, no, no. Not anymore. Not anymore. Receive it right now. Is it time release it? The anointing for the God sent success. I lift your hand as I will receive it in the name of Jesus. Take the baby while I lay hand man. After I take, after I lay hand, then I can give back the baby. Receive it. God sent success. Receive it. Receive it. I'm telling you. Just remind me to, to anoint those who are viewing. Okay. Receive it in the name of Jesus. God sent success. Receive it. It's a godsend. Yes, Jesus. Ba, 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 ba. Yes. They're going to send you with, with some serious idea. Yes. To your bishop. Say, bishop, I have a vision. Mm. See the house up there? Mm. Just buy. Receive it. Hallelujah. God sends successors. God sends successors. Receive it. God sends successors. Oh, ba, 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 ba. The enemy too late. They can't angle all of the successors. 
God sends successors. Receive it. 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 It's breaking down over here. And I'll be trying to be. So much rise up. Bishop casting it on my side. Right now they're calling, they're still calling from Maryland. And they're calling from Cape Town. And, and saying we need a harvest army in Cape Town. Shut up. South Africa. So what's wrong? We have harvest army here. They think this only world sent from here. So I'm gonna rise up from from Nigeria, yes. from Indonesia. Come on, Come on. my God! I'm gonna knight them over there, and they're gonna say, "Declare us army." Come on. You know, you know, you know. My God, my God! They say you don't have to come. You don't have to fly. Just speak the word. God send successor. Receive it. God send successes. Receive it. God. Some folks can't hang the word like this. Because they want the mix up. And the struggle. And Bishop can in a hole. He don't want to upset nobody. Because they might leave. And they might pull out this and pull out that. And do this and do that. And they like it under control like that. Under their control. But when you lose up to the successor. You can watch yourself. Wow, when when success are released, you better watch for Jehu. Ah! God, my God, my God, my God, my God, receive it. Anointing for the successors. God send successors, receive it. God send successors, receive it. God send successors, receive it. God send. God, I'm telling God, God, somebody gonna go, God gonna give you a vision and say, Bishop sent me to Miami. I like to be around the crowd, yes, but sent me to Miami. Bishop sent me to Miami. Don't worry, we, we, we get to meet the people once per month. Come on, somebody. But Miami, God sent it to Miami to shake up the enemy. We see the God send successor. In the name of Jesus, we see it. God sent successor. God sent successor. Take it. God sent successor. God sent successor. My God. God sent successor. Fix that quick, fix that quick, fix that quick. Come, Baba Collins, come, Mama Collins. Come, Mama Collins. They all they got to be correct. Come on, somebody. Come on, God send successor. Receive it. Come on, oh. God send successor. I was saying up there, I soon miss the babies. God send successor. Come in the baby. Receive it. God send successor. Come on now. My God. God send successor. Anybody missing? God send successor. That's lady here. Lady, come on, stand right there. Come on, come stand right there. Come on. God send successor. I'm gonna lay hands upon you right now. I'm gonna lay hands upon you. God gonna fill you with the Holy Ghost. Are you gonna speak a language you never spoken? You're gonna speak not English. When I lay hand upon you and you feel the Holy Ghost, open your mouth and speak, but don't speak English. Speak something else and God will take over your mouth. How do I know? Because the Bible says, open your mouth and I, God, will fill it with words. So when I lay hands upon you, remember, you got to obey now. You got to say something, but not English. Lift your hand right now. Lift your hand right Don't be afraid. Is the power going to come over you? Come on. Receive it right now. Go ahead and open your mouth. Begin to pray. Go ahead. Go ahead. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Receive it. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Power. Receive it right now. Power. Let it go. Let it go. Don't stop. Receive it right now. Holy Ghost power. 
Holy Ghost power, Holy Ghost power. Come on, a woman of God, lay hand on her and don't, don't let her stop. Don't let her stop. Somebody say, God send successor. Somebody say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am a God send successor. God sends a successor. You're not gonna like this. He's mightier than Moses. He's mightier than Elijah. Come on, somebody. He's mightier. I release it right now. All you those are you watching. I'm gonna do something crazy. Touch my finger. Touch my finger. I release the God sent successor right in the camera. Show me where, where it is in here. Show me where right in here. Raka Sakata, I release the anointing. Raka Sakata, for God sent successor. Prekashaka Papa, upon your now.